My favorite thing to do with the meatloaf is to the next day, if I'm making a bulldozer, just slice off one little mm. piece, a half a hot link, cut it in half, and then cut that in half. Heat that up in a pan or skillet, whatever, mm. microwave, whatever you got to do, and then put that on a piece of bread with Jeez. some comp sauce. Yeah, that's a... Dude, that'll fix a hangover. That fast. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cosmo Unfiltered, starring my boy Wes. I'm the star now. What's up, bro? Man, just doing a whole lot of sweating. It's been hot. Here in this Oklahoma heat. We did get a break. Yeah. It was short-lived. Short-lived. Got to cook outside yesterday. Yeah. It was a good day. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Can't ask for much more than that. Today's uh, today's episode is going to be, this is... uh, we're going to talk about our uh, kind of our viral recipe. Viral. We broke the internet a few the, years ago. The meatloaf. That that meatloaf recipe is has broke. It, well, it, you know, it it actually is what you know one of the main drivers that got me into barbecue. Boy, that was your first thing. Mm-hmm. That was the first thing I sold. Except your uh, your body. Yeah. I that did, didn't have anything to do with barbecue. Though. I did wag the ween. And, uh, <laughs> wag. Wag the ween. I was a weenie wagger. Oh, uh, wagging the ween since 2008. Let me ask you this: Have you made that recipe at home? I have not. I un- unpopular opinion. I'm not a big meatloaf guy. I got sick after I ate it a while back, mm-hmm. and I just have not been the same since then. I've tried. I mean, yours is good. I will eat yours. That meatloaf is really good. I ate it when we ha- we made it last, and then yesterday I had some. It's good. But I don't know, man. I didn't know if I was the only one that did that. Didn't eat stuff when you get sick? That if I, so if, when I get sick, whatever I ate right before that, it's like done dead to me. Done. Yep. Happened with ramen a couple of years ago. Mm. Haven't really had any of that since then. That was with you too. Remember that? We ate at that ramen place. That was right. We ate the same thing. And you were fine. Mm-hmm. I was in trouble. Well, ironically, the same thing happened with me with fish and chips. Oh, I remember that. Me and another guy ate Dude, the you exact were, same thing. You were down. I, I thought I was dying. Within, with, I mean, it was like I ate. We had dinner that evening. And by, I got home about 930. God. And by 10 o'clock, it was. It was on. It was game freaking on. Dude, you ever went like, at least you were at home. Yeah. Think how terrible it'd be if you're like on a plane or something. I've done it. I've actually got that sick. I've got worse than that sick actually at a uh, hotel. Oh, not from drinking. I actually had the flu. Ugh. Was getting over the flu. Went to my uh, brother-in-law's wedding, my wife's brother's wedding, and got food poisoning. God. And just on on a, not on home turf. Yeah. That's rough. But meatloaf. This, this meatloaf, meatloaf. This meatloaf recipe. Um, when do we make it? Yeah, 20... 19? 2019. Probably 2019. Remade it now. First time we made it on the channel. And it was the... Of the recipes we've made, it was the, the first one I think that we got the most. I made this at home and it was awesome. Yeah. I did everything you said. It was fantastic. Yeah, in the comments, I posted a picture uh, on it. And I was like, you know, because we film before the video's out. A lot of people sure, don't yeah, know yeah. that. They just don't know how long um, I posted a picture. And all the comments were, you have the best meatloaf. Your recipe's the best. Your recipe's the best. Your recipe's the best. And I and I just say, hey, man, like, take the recipe, make it yep. exactly like I told you. And then if you want to doctor it up, doctor it up. Yep. Make it your own then. Right. Stuff it with cheese, wrap it with bacon, stuff it with, you know, I seen people stuffing uh stuffing them with uh scrambled eggs and cheese and making like breakfast. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, about I don't that. know. I don't know about that. But you get hungry, I guess you do anything. But or the, high. The, yeah, or high. The thing that I love about the recipe more than anything is day of it's good. Day two you get even better. Three it well, first of all, 
It's not going to make it to day three. No, they're not that big. How did you bring one for Chuck? It's at the house. Oh, oh man, he's going to lose his mind. He is going to lose He his loves mind. that stuff. I know. He's going to salt the shit out of it, too. He will. He will salt the dog Dude. shit out of it. <laughs> Chuck, everything we make. He doesn't even taste it. No, he just like salt shaker right away. Oh, it's a so the, God, the, the, man. It, we, we have the Tupperware shakers, <laughs> salt and pepper shakers. I bought those. Yeah, you said year, five years ago. You bought them. You're like these will never be empty. Yeah, we should show a picture of those Tupperware salt. And Dude, he shakers. has put. He's emptied that thing at least twice. Oh since yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. I don't get 100%. it. One hundred percent. Sweet Chuck. My favorite thing uh, to do with the meatloaf is to the next day, if I'm making a bulldozer, just slice off one little mm. piece, a half a hot link, cut it in half, and then cut that in half. Heat that up in a pan or a skillet, whatever, mm. microwave, whatever you got to do, and then put that on a piece of bread with Jeez. some comp sauce. Yeah, that's a... Dude, that'll fix a hangover. That fast. <laughs> if you're desperate. If you're desperate, that that will damn sure... Man, die. a bulldozer. I haven't heard that term in a while. We should make like... We should publish you on the bulldozer. Like it could be like actual information. Yeah. I guess we could. I actually, I didn't. It was Jill that told me. We'll give her like a a, a credit in there somewhere. Yeah, she's the one. She's a contributor, she, yeah. and researcher. Well, she's the one. She's like, we, you know, that. She told me about that years ago. It makes ago. sense what and, she's saying. Yeah, it makes one hundred percent. I think we ran her off. She ain't coming back no more. She didn't come back to say hi. Well, Jill, she she was awesome, man. She's awesome. I, I, her and her husband. I mean, we're still friends with them. So, yep. We didn't run her off. Bless her heart. She just had things to do. She did. You know? She's awesome, man. She is cool. Awesome. I like her. And she run a storefront more. Yes, she like did. She did. Nobody's business. She did run one. Yeah. Back when it was brand new. Yeah. To me, the meatloaf is all about the workflows, right? You got you yeah. got it all dialed yeah. in. Yeah. It's it's like there's nothing magical about it, it's other like, than just knowing what to you know freezing it. That's like I don't think people think to do that. They just run uh, it in the oven and it falls apart. I saw a guy on TikTok. He he was. The way he was talking about it, he was saying like, you know, and then the recipe he made, I was like, I was like, eh, that looks oddly mm. familiar, you know? Sure. But, you know, that's, looks that's like what something we do. I'd do. <laughs> well, I mean, but, you know, I'm a firm believer and if, if you got something, give credit, you know, but chances are he could have got that recipe from somebody else that watched it, you know, so he doesn't know where sure. it came from, you know, and that a lot of that goes on. But here, you know, if you get down to the nuts and bolts of it. This is why we do what we do is is so we make barbecue generational and just keeps passing on right. and, on and goes on and on. Well, I mean, with that said, then most people probably don't know you that I came drove out with the pork burnings that you came up. I saw you post about that this week. Like, I have it on good authority that I was the first one. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but you said I don't know that I'm not. But mine. Are better than everybody else's. Is that well, what it no, was? no. I said, I said, I don't know that I am the inventor of the pork burn in, but I'm pretty sure I am because I've never heard about it. And when I started doing it, like, I mean, the some of the best competition cooks in the world, they were like, "You're doing what?" Because you would, it, would you just put a ch- like a pork chunk back on or something, I or did. were you doing I, the money so muscle? It was the money muscle yeah. before the money muscle was it. No one knew about the. No one was doing the money muscle. And I just found that that was the tenderest part of the. Oh, uh, you, when you pull one, you yeah. know, you know exactly where you're at. Um, so I would take the money muscle and square it. Mm. And then when I was done, I would lob it off and make pork burn ends and turn them in. And I'm, I'm, I'm still not a fan, although I do, I did do this on a, a, a video, um, pork bacon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pork yeah. butt bacon. Yep. Now, most people don't uh, know where that is or even how to go for it. Um, I showed my father-in-law, who's been, you know, a pork farmer, pig farmer, pretty much his whole life. Really? Wow. Yeah, he's retired now. But I showed him where it is, and I was like, man, listen, there's not even really enough to make a sandwich in one of these. So, you, like, if you want enough, you got to cook, like, three or four butts. But I gave him a bite the other day, and he was like, oh, my God. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Oh, did you guys do it at the lake? Is that the one yeah. you did? There yeah. you go. Yeah. You get those big picnic butts. You got a whole lot to trim on. Yeah. Like yeah I mean, you're you're kind of at the expense of the butcher on that. But 
I didn't come up with a uh, uh, pork butt burn in, or I'm, I'm sorry, pork butt bacon. I'm pretty sure Timmy from Blues Hog did. That's a, that's the first person I saw. Hmm. But the pork, but, the money must burn have burned in. Though, like, I'll own that. Yeah. I don't know who came out with uh, pork belly burn ins. Yeah, that was we just did like those. A trend. I, I, I'm, that was probably. Remember, we did that honestly, on the. Uh, they're used quite a bit in Asian culture. What was that? Um, we did them on the pit the, barrel. No, it was that other one. That remember that other drum cooker that was like a a pit barrel and a a gateway had a baby. It was called the Bronco, wasn't it? Oh, the uh, had wheels on one side. You could kick it up and. What was that called? I think Matt's got it at his house. Yeah, Matt don't have it. If he did, he sold it. You sure? Probably. What was that thing called? Oh, we have to go find the video. Let me look for it. I want to find out. Because we did it. I just can't I can see it in my head. I guess what we did on Pit Barrel. Maybe we did. You know what? Maybe you're right. Because I remember when we flipped them, all the smoke. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, Run! We thought we'd burn them up. Oh, dude. And they were perfect. They had a little char from the sauce. They did. Just a oh, it was, it was a pit barrel. They were good. They were good. I, it's not something I'd eat all the time. I don't like a lot of fat. Actually, I'm not a big fan of chewing chewing the fat, so to speak. Yeah, let's see. They But bacon, if smoke bacon. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? The smoke. Oh, let's see if you can see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to do this quick. <laughs> That's all right. You're going to have to cut that clip in. You want to do this quick. <laughs> oh, that's right. Five alarm fire. It's like, yeah, it's like 60, it's like 22 <laughs> seconds away from a full on grease fire. Oh, geez. They did look good, though. I remember those. Those were good, though. Yeah. We used to cook in the freaking open mouth of the shop back there. Yep, that's right. Between by everybody the, starting up the forklift. And, by the blue trash can. Oh, man. Which, the most yeah. popular blue trash can on the internet. Yep. But most people think you get the trash can, not us. Yeah. This is real. Yeah. That's where we throw all the trash. Oh. But most people don't know. Back to what I was saying. I got off on a rabbit trail. You drove has waste for how many years? Um... Almost 10. 10 years. Yeah. How many of those 10 years were you selling meatloaf on the route? Probably four. That's quite a while. Yeah. And Cosmos is not a thing yet. I smoked a lot of meatloaf. And then when did Cosmos come to be out of that four years? That's, I started competing. Actually, I, I was competing before I started the meatloaf. Um, the meatloaf was just a way, you know, I was just always sure. like, you know, how can I make money or... You know, side hustle. Side hustle. That was the hustle. Get that money. Get the money. The Better get that money. Money. And that, that's just always how I've been, you know. No, uh, yeah. Well, do I'm what you love to do and then find out a way to make some money on it. I need to make I need to make some meatloaf. My kids would probably love it. You should make them in the little tins. Yeah, those tiny ones. Yeah. I remember those. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to make Chuck's day. Maybe we'll get a clip of you giving him some. Fly the, it in. The, the little ones are amazing. Then, that's like lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And like they cook so quick. What's the difference between a, like a, a meatloaf and like a Salisbury steak? Well, Salisbury steak is cube steak. Okay. They just push it into like a. Yeah. It's just cooked in the gravy. Okay. It's kind of like. It's, yeah, it's, it's mystery like meatloaf. Salisbury <laughs> steak is like the country fried steak, but not country fried. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care it's for just those cube steak. Yeah. It's had the shit cooked out of it oh, yeah. in gravy. Mm. Well, the gravy thing I can get on board yeah. with. Yeah, you cook the shit out of you it. You talk me into some gravy. That's good. That's good. Now I don't know about that He Man stuff or hey, Hungry it, Man. Hungry Man. Oh, that's rock bottom. You find yourself there. Been there. You call a friend to yeah pick you back up. Yep, that's when you drove by the take ramen. You, <laughs> take you. Yeah, <laughs> you drove by. I just need the a Waffle sandwich. House. You yeah. drove by. Oh man, that's there's one more stop past it, and it's called Potatoes and Mustard, which I know you have done. I've done that. I've done that for almost two weeks once. Ooh, 
potatoes and mustard. Do you have any beer in the mix too? No, 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 no. No, I had nothing. Man. I had nothing. You should go back to that once a year just to like see if you could do it again. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll never do that again. Never. Potatoes and mustard. All right, well. Let him off the hook. I want to thank everybody for watching. As always, we do this for free. So if you like what we're doing here, share this with somebody. And what makes me loaf? What makes me loaf? I'll catch you in the next podcast. I was, I was going to say video, but I said Peace.